there, it's Ina here, and today I will be working with this picture frame. This will be part of a hop from Oopsie Daisy, and all the participants will be down in my description box. Now, this frame had been used before, so I'm recycling it, so it already has a coat of gesso. Now, these are very simple frames you can find in art stores, at least here in the States, super cheaply. Now I will be using some modeling paste by Speedball. It is rather thick and works really well for this technique. If you don't have modeling paste or use this very liquid, you can definitely use um, Handyman stuff. This is to fill holes in the wall and it works great. So for starters, I will be using a general amount, general, a generous <laughs> amount of this modeling paste. And I will also add some beads. Now, because these beads will all be covered up, uh, it doesn't really matter what color. I usually pick the ones I have either too much of or maybe a color I don't use very often. So this brown is nice. It's kind of a bit dull, but it's tiny little beads. So I will be using this. And I'm also picking a second size. As I said, color doesn't really matter. So from here on, I think I will speed it up a bit as it's pretty self-explanatory and I talk to you at the end.
frame is all dry and has great texture and the type of color I like. Of course you can color it in whichever way you like and it also depends on what you want to put inside. Now because these picture frames are so easily available and so cheap I thought I'd give you a few ideas where you can take it from here. There is of course uh, the photo. Now you would need a piece of glass or a piece of plastic to protect it. That would of course work. Um, you could put a mirror in it. I have this little mirror here. It fits perfect. That looks pretty cool. Now you can also embellish the frame itself a bit more before you either add a picture or a mirror or whatever you might like. You know, flowers would look good on this or you can put some ephemera on it or both. You know, it's really up to you. There is a lot of things you can do to make this look cool. Just some ideas. Now I opt for something else because I had a small little frame with some real dried edelweiss, which is a mountain flowers, mountain flower uh, in South Germany in the Alps, uh, but it broke. So as you can see it's kind of old and it had an oval frame. But I cut the frame real carefully. I melted it actually because it's just plastic. And it works. So I will be putting this in here. So it is a different shape, I know, but it's the only plastic I have available right now. And it works. It just covers the corners. So it gets an extra piece of cardboard to make sure this is all tight. There we go. There it is. And my Edelweiss has a new home. I hope you enjoyed this little project and it gave you some ideas of how you could uh, use the texture paste and anything you might like to add to it to create this really fun, awesome, textured picture frame. Okay. Don't forget to go down in my description box and follow the lineup so you don't miss any of the other fun techniques and tips. See you soon again. Bye bye.